Hey, welcome back. I'm Dan. It's just a beautiful day. You're watching I Allegedly. And uh, I do have a good one for you today because I have a question. The question is, why even have a bank at this point? Please, as always, like the video. Please comment. Uh, you can email us at hello at iallegedly.com. And today we have a sponsor, Private Internet Access, and I will talk about them a little later. But let's get into this right away because the question is, why do we even have banks right now at this point when they don't care about us at all? And first one is Afrida Wade. She wrote a check from Michigan to her homeowner association for some maintenance that they did on the complex and to her home. Her share was 525 bucks. Writes a check, all of a sudden she goes and checks her bank account and the scoundrels had washed the check, changed the payee, and changed the amount to $18,000. Wow, okay? So she goes to her bank, Citizens Bank, and says, what is this? Why are you guys doing this? And why'd you pay this? And uh, oh, it's just not, our, not our, our responsibility. We'll look into it and check on it for you. And the check was cashed in New York City. Okay, clearly stolen, clearly taken to another bank, but taken to Chase Bank. Citizens Bank said, hey, this is Chase Bank's fault, not our fault. And I'm like, what? This doesn't make any sense. When you read the story, it's been two years she's been trying to get the 18 grand back. They're finally getting uh, some headway on this because she's going to get herself a lawyer. Again, if you guys have anything that's like this, all these banks have legal departments. All these banks have social media and customer service departments that make it so that they don't want the headache. Now, this is bad. 18 grand is a lot of money. The worst one is uh, Lynette, uh, Lynn Buckland, okay? Lynn Buckland is in Florida, and she gets contacted by a federal agent. Hi, I'm a federal agent, and we need to get access to your account. We know that you've got XYZ in the account. Somebody had got access to her bank account and knew the amounts that she had in a couple of accounts and said you need to transfer them and buy cryptocurrency to protect yourself. I don't believe you. Did a, did a, uh, a screen call with her and showed her the badge and showed her the federal agency that this guy worked for and she started transferring money and didn't feel right about it. Yeah, I, I bet I wouldn't feel right about transferring two million dollars of my money. Which I don't have that, but anyways, my point is, is that this woman goes out and gets completely fleeced from her bank. She goes back and starts dealing with the bank to sit there and say, hey, wait a second. You know, I was, I was victim of this. You guys got to help me with this. And back and forth the lawsuit, they were able to, quote unquote, what they said, claw some money back for her. So they got her some of the money, but there's still $1.5 million missing from this older woman's retirement account. This is horrific, to say the least. By the way, guys, I'm on the boardwalk in Laguna. Just an absolutely perfect day. Not a cloud in the sky, no eclipse, no nothing, okay? <laughs> no chemtrails either for you guys that are all constantly telling me what's in the air. So, absolutely amazing. These people go out dealing with Chase Bank and trying to get herself her money back, but the point is, is that look out for people. But why have the bank? If the bank's not gonna back you up anymore, remember two years ago, for those of you that have been around the channel, a lot of people were foolish and used Zelle, which is a money transfer program through a lot of different banks. You can pay people, transfer money, and people would call people and say, hey, your, your account's been compromised. You need to um, you know, send it over through Zelle and transfer to this account. And people foolishly did it. The banks would routinely give the people their money back. I heard of $6,000, $8,000, $13,000. The highest one was $26,000, and they sent the person the money back. Then, at the end of 2022, B of A said, we're not doing this anymore. If you fall the victim of fraud like this, this is on you. It, you know, it's a stupidity clause. Do not give your password out to anybody. Do not answer text messages from people you don't know. Do not just transfer money without contacting the bank. Now these people are sophisticated. They do things that make it look like they're the bank. That's what they do, okay? So recently, Wells Fargo Mortgage was the victim of a hack. 
and they're trying to minimize this. Stories below, but they're trying to say, hey, listen, you know, this is really no big deal. We just had a rogue employee. It wasn't a ransomware attack. Sure looks suspicious, guys, because they sent this letter out. I'll give you guys a copy of what the letter looked like, but you can also see the full, uh, the full letter below. But the point is, is that they got all of our information. They got, they got the names, they got the account numbers, everything with the mortgage. But hey, don't worry. We don't think anybody's credit's in jeopardy. What are you talking about? Of course the credit's in jeopardy. So let me know what you think about this, but why have a bank, guys? Why are we putting our money in these banks? There's more to cover with this, and I'll get into it in a second. Let's talk about our sponsor, Private Internet Access VPN. A VPN is a virtual private network, and what it does is it makes your connection on the internet from your phone, from your computer, from any device that you're on, to whatever website you're going to, completely anonymous, okay? It can protect you when you go to your bank, when you log into your pension. It gives you a level of anonymity that is unsurpassed. Number one rated, plus it was the product of the year, for the last two years, 2022 and 2023, and I allegedly. For pennies a day, you can have this protection. And what it does is it gives you a level of encryption, basically like a tunnel that nobody can see. Think about this, the government, people can't see your keystrokes, your search history, nothing. You're completely protected. 83% off, check it out today, but look at how easy this is to use. Now there's no hardware, nothing to install, to turn it on, it's one button. Turn it on, when it turns green like that, my device is protected. Plus, see all the different countries? I can change my location in a second. I can change states, I can change countries. It's that simple. Check it out today. I love private internet access. I use it every day. It's an absolutely amazing product. Again, pennies a day to use this, but if you are logging into your bank with all the stories we've just talked about, you need to protect yourself. And the best thing to do is have a VPN. It is actually uh, one of the cheapest things I, I've purchased. And I use this product even before they were a sponsor on the channel, but check it out today. Private internet access, save 83% off. Use the link below and get their discount. It covers every device in your family. So think about this, your, your cell phones, your iPad, your laptop, your tablets, your personal computer, everything is covered with just one purchase. Check it out today. Audio, audio, audio. I found a great article on 20 reasons why people are not buying EV cars. A lot of them are the obvious things, charging and, but uh, you know, things like that, like uh, convenience and things like that, the range, things like that, that they're concerned with. But if you look at these 20 reasons and the stories below, a lot of this makes sense. You know, these are expensive vehicles and a lot of people don't buy things that cost that much, okay? I mean, I for one, don't care what you drive. I, I know millionaires that drive old Toyotas and older cars. And yeah, they've got a nicer car and they bought something, you know, to take the kids out and the grandkids out, you know, SUVs and things like that. But they don't sit there and, you know, spend $150,000 on cars. It's not a big deal to these people. But when you look at the range, when you look at the ease of maintenance, when you look at the expense, you know, so many people I know that have gotten into an accident, small, what they thought was a simple accident, and they've written me that the car is gonna cost twenty five dollars and $30,000. Is your insurance gonna, company gonna pay for this? And that's the uncertainty right now, is that with insurance companies refusing claims right now, you have to make sure you're gonna get covered. So, you know, great story, check it out, okay? The other thing is, Bank of America is issuing pretty much a similar warning that Jamie Dimon did from the last video, and that they're concerned about the liquidity of credit, they're concerned about the flow of money in our system, 
and how this may bring down the BRICS nations, which there's a lot of people that have written me that could care less about the BRICS nations and all these different countries. That's not the point. The point is, is that the United States is still the leader, guys. We have the number one currency in the world, which when you talk to more and more people, it's worth less and less and less, and they think that it's just a joke. So with that being said, if it goes down, you're gonna see other countries go down. So this could be an absolute disaster. With the 10-year bonds going through the roof right now, you know, it, it's, it's very exciting, you know? I follow Greg Manorino. His MMRI is right at 300 right now as I film this. And uh, it's gonna be interesting to see where this goes and what's gonna happen because what happens with these banks? What happens if you can't get to the ATM? What happens if you can't get cash out? I have had so many people that are friends, family members, subscribers, that have had situations. When Canada had that problem with the internet and they had a problem two years ago, it was two years ago in summer, and the internet went down in Canada and it affected uh, six different banks in the south of the United States. Like who knew, why, why, why did this affect Truist and all these other, you know, key bank and all these other banks like that? It's because of how they were tied to the internet and how their cloud system was based. Now, again, protect yourself. I think these banks are just, they don't care about us. Clearly with those first few stories, you can tell these people just don't care where the money's at. They don't care if we're a customer of theirs. None of us are big enough to make a difference anymore. It just is not. You have to demand service from these people, but make sure you have cash on hand. Make sure you have cash out of those banks because it's going to be nothing but a problem moving forward. Okay, mark my words on that. And again, just like those people with Key Bank, and I should pull up those videos from two years ago, but uh, these people had no idea this was gonna happen, and then it happened, and then they're like, oh, okay. You know, Dan's right, I should have some money outside of it. Now, one thing that's happening more and more and more right now is you're seeing more and more uh, PPP investigations and PPP fraud convictions. Now, the Justice Department steps forward and they have gotten back $1.4 billion from 3,500 different people that uh, were fraudulent, okay? And they say this is just the beginning of this because what happened was when COVID hit, people said, oh, tell them you got 26 employees, tell them you got this, tell them no one's gonna check, no one's gonna care. And people got greedy and then they spent the money in ways that they shouldn't have. And now these people are facing everything from having to repay the money to fines to jail time right now. So, I mean, is this serious? You have no idea how serious this is. So these poor people that were victims of, of like people they went to like, help me get the loan. And these people told them how to get it and lied to them about this. You know, all, those, all the people are gonna do is, you know, you are the one that signed the loan docs. You're the one responsible for this. So. These people are getting everything from fines, jail time, having to return the money. And, uh, you know, the Justice Department, they got back $1.4 billion already, but there's billions more that they're going to collect from these people. Wait and see. Um, Dallas PPP fraud, a woman, uh, Kristen uh, uh, Fenrick, I love this one. She had a jewelry store, clearly Kristen, okay, which was with a K, K and K. And she had a little tiny jewelry store uh, store business that she ran since 2015 to 2022, and then it went out of business. But she claims she had a bunch of employees and she faces, listen to this, 45 years in jail because she went out and got herself $400,000 in PPP money. 400 grand, guys. Bought herself lavish things. Just craziness, guys. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. Just to, you know, rub it in everybody's face. She was doing so well. And now they're coming back for everything. So she, because, she did it multiple times. Each time she got the wire transfer, a 10-year felony. Felony, 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 felony. How about that, guys? I mean, it's just, it's, it's crazy. So $405,000 that she got, and, uh, you know, it, it's nuts. I was walking to Target last week, and there was, you know, they have these guys. Here in California, it's legal to have you sign a voter roll petition like hey register to vote sign our petition 
and they can collect signatures and they can legally get paid to do this. And it's, I've seen it, you know, $1.50 a signature to $8 a signature, which is profitable. You get 100 people in a day to sign for your, uh, you know, your clause or, you know, you know, you could make yourself some real, real money. Now, one thing that this guy was advertising for a new law, this law would make a smash and grab robbery a felony. And I'm like, well, that's ridiculous. Of course it's a felony. And the guy says, no, 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 it's not a felony. I said, no, no, if I steal a thousand dollars of anything, you know, it's a felony, guys. And you know that. And smashing grabs are not illegal in California, which was insane. So people were signing it and doing this. And I just thought, you know, only in California could you have that. And I was, didn't want to argue with this idiot for an hour. But Governor DeSantis in Florida just passed a law on retail crime. And his is just extensive, man. It is. It is crazy. I mean, if you steal anything, okay, uh, and it goes over a thousand dollars, felony. If you do a crime with um, five or more people, okay, class three felony. If you organize anything on social media, felony. So understand this. John Smith gets arrested, rips off of the store, and then they go through and check your Instagram account, Facebook account, things like that. They're gonna go back after these people after the fact and nail them, okay, to the wall. So felony, felony, felony. Class three felony, three years on all that stuff. So, you know, we've talked a lot about the over 1 billion square feet of commercial real estate here in uh, the United States. That's bad. Now, the other thing is Dublin, Ireland. One thing that I learned that was fascinating when I was in the medical space was Ireland is a hotbed for med tech. Innovation, getting money, raising money, just fabulous. It's nice to be in the shade for a second. So, but it's absolutely fantastic for that. But you have a lot of companies that even have PO boxes there just to collect the royalty checks so they can have a Dublin office because of the tax situation and everything. But what they're seeing now is that these offices are done. You're seeing that they're getting vacancy after vacancy after vacancy for all types of businesses, but mainly tech. So tech is cutting back globally right now, guys. We're in a global shutdown for the economy. If you have not, I mean, the inflation numbers that just came out yesterday, if you don't get it, this is not going in the right direction, okay? You can sit there and say, I'm gloom and doom. I'm protected, guys. I, I don't owe anybody any money. I don't have bills. I'm not gonna go out and get a $2,800 car payment or anything stupid like that. You'll know I've lost my mind if I do anything like that. My point is, is that cut back, get rid of everything you can right now to save money because that's gonna be the key to survival and moving forward, you know, in the end of 2024 through 2025 because you're gonna see deals out there. If you wanna buy things, you're gonna see stuff go on sale. I spoke to a, an attorney yesterday who does uh, estate and he says, Dan, this is 2008 all over again. I'm telling all my clients to reserve their cash. And he told me about the success story of a guy who mother dies, he inherits a million dollars, not the sharpest guy, but goes out and is like, what should I do with my money? And everybody said, just sit on it. What does he do? He sits on it to 2011. Las Vegas was in such disarray as far as real estate. He went and bought 14 houses, 14 houses in gated communities for $60,000. It was cheaper than land prices, guys. You could, cheaper than the replacement prices, cheaper than the construction prices. Just, it was an absolute deal. Now, that's gonna happen again. But if you want a boat, you want a motorcycle, you want a plane, you want anything nice, a second home or a vacation home. And me, I'm looking, guys, for a, a, a small house with a pond on it. That's what I'm looking for. And I want a deal on it, someplace in the United States. But Anyways, final, final story. Remember we just talked about how the uh, stamp prices went up and how they raised the price and how they weren't making enough money? Well, guess what? Post office just stepped forward again. It's the final story of the video. 73 cents I want to raise it to, another, another five cents. In the last year, it's gone up three times in the last year, guys. Keep it going, keep it going. Why, don't make, why not just make it a dollar, okay? You know you're gonna lose money at a dollar, but again, we have to have mail. 
Why even have mail? Everything's email now, Dan. Nobody needs mail. No, you need mail. Okay. Take a look at our sponsor, Private Internet Access. If you want to get a hold of me, hello at iallegedly.com. And uh, if you want to, uh, you know, please like, please subscribe. Any topics you guys want me to cover, I've got a bunch of crazy stuff people have sent me, and I can't wait to cover it. And uh, again, it's a beautiful day. We'll see you guys very soon.